I've always wanted to sit down with a fellow K-pop artist to have a heart-to-heart -heart about this job and let them know, hey, I feel you. And finally, I get to do just that. Joining me in the studio for is Envy of the K-pop girl group, Black Swan. Hello, Envy. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Ah, so many fans are waiting for you right now. Um, could you introduce yourself a little bit? Of course. Hello, I am the main vocalist of Black Swan. My name is Envy. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> and I'm glad to be here with you. <laughs> I'm so happy to finally meet you. Me too. Yes, I've been waiting for this day. Seriously. This quarter, this segment. I feel you. I'm like, when is it coming? When is it Wednesday, Valentine's Day? It's because, perfect. yes, and it, it's so special because mm. you're, it's our first time meeting together and it's also Valentine's Day. So I got you a little something. Oh my gosh. Some chocolates. I'm going to hide the brand. Here you Thank go. you so much. I I have like a deep love of chocolate. Oh so my gosh, me this too. is what I needed today. I will have to like savor it like over the next <laughs> couple <of> days. <laughs> uh, thank you so well, much. Thank you. Thank you. And ah, there I have so many questions for you. I don't know where to start. Whichever one pops into your head first. <laughs> By the way, you look amazing. Thank you, so do you. Yellow looks so good on you. Really? Yes. Okay, because I always think the yellow kind of washes me out sometimes. Really? Depend I guess depending on the yellow. Like if it's no, like a no. sunflower, like a darker yellow, uh -huh, uh -huh. kind of. I guess this, this is kind is of like, yeah. Like lemon It has to be yellow. like a, yeah, a lemon mm -hmm. or like a cooler tone yellow because mm. I, I have like a neutral cool tone, so ah. I have to kind of work with that <laughs> well i think you look amazing and this looks amazing <laughs> seriously i literally love this outfit oh, uh, thank you i dressed up for you <laughs> i dressed up for you oh my, <laughs> oh my gosh it's i, I was wondering because so many of our listeners are mm. sending in green hearts what is this all about is this like your fandom color so it's actually my favorite color. So I Lumina's see. know that I love, my favorite color is emerald green. So um, obviously they don't have like an emerald green emoji heart. <laughs> so I will, whenever I post like things, I will like either like do my green heart. And so it's kind of, you know, it's like kind of my color and my thing. Mm. But our group colors are actually black and like a certain, I don't, I don't remember the certain, type of red but it's red black and red black and red because yeah. it's your team's name is black swan oh yes my gosh, so of course so we questions. have to at least have black in it uh -huh. <laughs> mm. all right well let's dive into the questions right let's away go. all right when did you first get into k-pop um i actually got into k-pop it'll be three almost four years ago when i was 22 it was 2020 is when I got Ooh. into it in Christmas Christmas season. Uh, I had, what what was the story behind so it? So I was going to school for musical theater and acting originally, and I that first semester I had got in. I had been auditioning for schools for like two years, and I eventually got into one. So that first semester I did it, and like halfway through I was like. I don't feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be. Like, wow. I, I don't know, like, what's going on because I love, like, singing, I love acting, but I just didn't, it didn't feel right. So oh. I went home and <clears throat> actually I worked at a Korean barbecue place at <gasps> school. Really? So my friend, so I learned, you know, I used to always eat K barbecue with my family and then I worked here and my friend would always play K pop music. So I knew mm. of it, but I, Never really listened to it really mm -hmm. until she played this song as we were all cleaning up the restaurant Day six. I need somebody. Or, oh. Yeah. Yeah. I need somebody. That was my first very first k-pop song Wow, and so I was like, ooh, who is this? So that so, was the first song yeah. that you kind of oh yeah. made you go oh. yeah, Like so I did so I looked them up and I started listening to that a lot and then I went home and I found um, One Us, which is my favorite boy group, they're they're what really got me like oh I really want to be a K-pop idol because I saw their song I listened to their song Lit and I would like listen to it repeat for like a whole month oh, and then I you saw, just got hooked yeah I got hooked is <laughs> that's what happens oh. and so I saw their performance of Come Back Home it's just a video from one of their performances on YouTube and I was like mm. their the energy is amazing like the way that they like danced I was like I want to do this 
And so I did a lot of research and I was like, am I too old? Like, can I do this? Like, I'm like, obviously not the typical looking like idol. Like I'm not like Asian or like stuff like this. So I was like, can I do this? It must have been challenging for you. So challenging. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of doubts, but I was just like, okay, let's just try it. And I auditioned for a good like two years. How did you audition for the I, Korean companies? Because you were in the States. Right, right. So did I, you do online audition yeah. or, or did they go to the States? Most they do of the that time world tour? during, you know, it was co the start of COVID. So most of the things were online auditions, but I looked up a lot of different companies. And so I would, you know, audition online, send my videos in or, once it got a little bit later, then they started doing live auditions in the States. So I went to a couple in like New York and like Las Vegas. And obviously I didn't make it into those companies. Then at 2020, Black Swan actually debuted. And so I found um, Fatu Onni, who was one of our original members of uh, Black Swan. And so I was like, oh, okay, well, if she can do this, then, well, I can obviously do this too. And so she was like my whole like role model. And so she gave you hope. She gave me hope. She gave hope to a lot of people. And so, yeah, I just kept auditioning and I found DR. And so I auditioned. And that's your company. That's that my you're company. In. Mm -hmm. I auditioned twice. I passed the first um, like audition for my first time. Because yeah, you have three steps of audition. Right? Yeah. Each, each time, each yeah. Time. Oh, is it still the same? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was when I, I auditioned. Yeah. So you, I, you go in and then. You yeah. I, I auditioned abroad as well because I grew up in Hong Kong. Oh, right. So uh, JYP, when Rain was in JYP, mm. they, he was having a world tour and okay. they came, he came to Hong Kong mm. for his tour and oh. JYP came to Hong Kong with him for the audition, global audition. That's when I auditioned for JYP mm. and yeah, the three steps. I went through You got the too. auditions and then like the callbacks. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And but then, I yeah. did step one and step two on the same day because oh. I was in Hong Kong. Oh, so they, okay. they could have come back for the audition. Right, right? okay. Yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Make things I, easier for me. <laughs> I failed the callback on the first time, oh. so it was like really. Uh, mm -hmm. It was, was very, it? very sad. <laughs> like uh, because I had gotten just a lot of rejections, not even just for like K-pop auditions, but just you know in the entertainment and college life as well. So it was like really like saddening to me mm. and so I was like okay I'll, there's a saying that one of my teachers told me is that okay you can be sad mm -hmm. for one minute and then you just let it go and then keep working so ah. I worked mm. I practiced dance vocals Korean and then a year later I did it again and wow then, wow <laughs> so it's amazing that you didn't give up no. and you stick to what your teacher told you, her yeah, advice. Yeah. Oh, well, it was good a for you. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So now you're a member of Flex One. Yeah, it's it's a, a surreal experience. Yeah. Oh, well, we have so much to talk about. Yes. Well, I have a question. Was K-pop very popular in Washington D.C. back then? Uh yeah, it was. Who was the biggest team there? BTS. Oh, of course. <laughs> BTS. Why did, it, why did I even bother asking the question? There's um, <laughs> a lot of, like, I can't speak for like everybody mm -hmm. in DC, but a lot of people found a kind of like hope or like something that they can relate to in BTS subminims, so like music oh, yeah. and like performances mm -hmm. and just who they are. And so a lot of people liked BTS subminim so and um, Stray Kids. Uh, so many name twice so many names. So the next generation after the Wonder Girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, when is our name coming up? And then I thought, oh yeah, it's the next generation now. <laughs> but also, I have a couple of my friends who also would listen to Wonder Girls too, so don't worry. Oh. <laughs> Wonder you. Girls are there too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, we still have so much to talk mm. about. But when we come back, I want to ask you about our journey to becoming about your journey to becoming a K-pop artist yourself. But first, we need to take a song break. Okay. All right, let's listen to one of Black Swan's hits. Here is Karma. Ooh. 
We just heard Karma by Black Swan. Woohoo! Woohoo! And as I mentioned earlier, we've been getting floods of messages and questions on YouTube. So let's take a look at a few right now. Oh! Okay, we have a message from Shunise Moore. Love this interview. It's flowing like a true conversation between new friends. <laughs> oh, I love oh, that. Thank you. And Onya says, I still cannot believe that Envy is becoming friend with the Harim <laughs> from the Wonder Girls. <laughs> thank you. And KS says, it's been a while since we have interaction with, with her. She usually come live on TikTok, not on Insta. Do you? Yeah. You're more a uh, TikTok kind yeah, of person? Yeah, I, I kind of do. Most of the time, I'll do it on TikTok. Mm -hmm. um, but but can there, we say, say a tick? Oh, we already said it, but... Uh, <laughs> Um, a social media app. <laughs> yeah, T-Talk. <laughs> T-Talk. Most of the time I'll do it on T-Talk or like on the other one. Mm -hmm. um, but there are some um, Lumina who can't watch it on oh. T-Talk. So I'll, sometimes I'll try and do it on both, like an hour on this one and then an hour on the other. So I'm sorry. Mm. I will try and do more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And V says, NV, could you explain more about the meaning of your stage name? Oh, Ooh, good question. That is a good question. Yeah. So, Envy was, I came up with it myself. And it was actually a year before I had gotten, like, started auditioning. No, no, no. The year I had started auditioning, I had gone back to college and I decided, okay, I'm going to be a K pop idol. And then I went to sleep one day and I had a dream mm -hmm. that I was on stage with girls that I don't know. <laughs> and I specifically remember like green lights and people cheering like a name and I remember something that sounded with the V in it and so oh. I woke up that day and I was like okay it sounded like I went through each letter A V B V C V ah. until like something clicked and originally it was gonna be M V M V V because it sounded like, oh, well, MV sounds cool. Like MVP. Yeah, MVP. yeah. <laughs> but then I was like, oh, wait, because music videos, oh, MV, I was yeah. like, okay, it can't be MV. And then N sound, you know. Similar. Yeah, and also the word MV, you know, it's taken as like, you know, something you're envious of, something mm, that you I want but you, you can't have. Like, yeah, yeah this kind of thing. But they, a lot of people, like, take it as a very negative way. So huh. I wanted to kind of make my stage in, into something, like, hopeful mm. and change the kind of, change it into a more, if you work hard enough, then you can, you know, get what you want in life, basically. Oh. And so, yeah, and that's where Envy came and so originally it was just going to be N and V mm -hmm. but I was like mm, it's cool but I'm also have like a kind of bit of a, like a cute vibe with it so mm. I just did like the lowercase ee -E. and so, ah, so it's like you, a cool cute name so there's a deep meaning behind your meaning yeah. it's not just envy there's yeah. so much more to it yeah mm, cool oh I see I, I, I didn't know that <laughs> thanks for asking the great question all right, well, what songs did you audition with? Um, the one that, so I obviously didn't get past the first time, but the second time I came, I auditioned with a song um, called Sexy Green Light by Z King, who is actually one of my teachers that I worked with in a K-pop academy back mm. home. And so I auditioned with her song and yeah. Did you? Was it a dance song or did you sing um, that so song? So nowadays you they, you can do um, both, I send in both. So I sent in a dance video mm -hmm. and then I sent in a vocal video. Um, but if, depending on like the company, some will just be, just choose one. And so oh. I chose, the first round I just chose vocals. And then after mm -hmm. the second round then I did a dance and then I did vocals too so yeah interesting there's so much stories behind <laughs> yeah. audition yeah uh, same here i have so many uh, episodes like what so many stories behind my audition day <laughs> i my audition song was boa boa yeah by uh the the singer is oh, boa, boa and, and the singer's boa okay yeah sorry. and the song moto. moto there's a song called moto anyways i danced to the song I will look at it. Yeah, it's a great song. <laughs> well,
Well, pre when preparing for the auditions on your own, mm. wh what was harder, singing or dancing? <laughs> dancing. Uh, dancing is not my. I'm the not opposite. My forte. Really, <sighs> I don't want to sing. Like really? it's so hard. <laughs> yeah. So um, when you so you danced obviously, mm -hmm. um, and then did you rap? Did you? Yeah, rap? I was a sub rapper. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you like do, between vocal and rapping? Do you, would you choose rap more than vocal or? or? I personally like vocal mm. singing much better because okay. I love Korean ballad music. Like you know this. So do yeah. I. Yeah. I literally learn like um, some of Ailey's Ailey's mm. oh, Ailey's ballad music <laughs> are my favorite, and I use. You should do a cover someday. I would love to. Oh. Yeah, they're my top. Ailey Sominium and Ayu Sominium are my top like ballads, like hmm. some of their ballads are just yeah. amazing. Yeah, K ballads are just amazing. So Very emotional. Super, yeah. I love it. I love it too, but uh, if you ask me, I love K ballad songs, but I'm better at rap. Ah, That's why, okay. yeah, you, you get that. I'm the total mm -hmm. opposite. Uh, <laughs> I you like rap songs, but you're better. <laughs> I like to listen to rap songs. Mm -hmm. I'm not a very good... I'm not a rapper. Mm. Um, I f I'm definitely a vocalist, but I am more of a when it comes to like K-pop songs, like mostly like the pop songs. It's like very like you know I can't explain like the sound of it. Mm. Me, I'm more on like a lighter side. So ballads, especially strong ballads, I'm I do very well at. Mm. So it's been kind of a easy and hard transition into going from like more ballad type music because that's what I learned in school too musical mm. theater is like very emotional ballad type music depending on the show and then go switching to full-on pop is like I have to figure out okay placement sound like vowels it's like a lot to and I'm still working on it because I'm guessing musical theater and k-pop uh, practice K-pop music style is completely, completely different. There are like small similarities mm. in practice, but when it comes to the sound, it's totally different. Like practice, like the wise. way you practice your vocal. Yeah, is most different. of the, like K-pop and pop is just very like a forward, not nasal type sound, but it's like a very forward mix, mixed chest head sound. Mm. While you know musical theater is depending on the show is like very like more head voice mm. just like very flowy and dramatic um but yeah obviously depending on the show but yeah mm. do you also listen to k raps k -rap i do rap songs? i've gotten um like not not as often like you know with bts on minium i listen mm -hmm. to a lot of their the rap lines like solo songs i'll listen to their songs and i want to find more k rappers too to find mm. good um, Me too. Playlist. So if you <laughs> have any recommendations, I would love I, to hear. I don't know if you've seen the show, but I love the Show Me the Money. I do know that show. <laughs> I haven't, I, I think I watched like a couple clips on like an app, but like I, I, sh I want to watch it. Yeah. I heard it's really good. It was, it's fun and super entertaining. Okay, okay. Not just the I music, like I mean the music is amazing, but the show itself is so fun <laughs> to watch. All right, we're going to take another quick song break, but we'll be right back with more with Envy. So don't change the channel. We've asked Envy to pick some songs for us earlier, and there's a couple of them right now. Ooh. So let's listen to Jay Yuna with Butterfly, followed by Demian with Cassette. Ooh. Artist Life on I Feel You. We've actually had so many people write in to ask questions on our Instagram and there's no way we could get through all, all of them today. But luckily for us, we'll have more chances to ask you those questions. So we'll just do a few of them today. Okay. Let's see what questions we have. We have a question from Blue Shroom. It's a question for both you and me. Okay. Uh, what were some of the challenges you faced on your journey to becoming an idol? Huh. So many challenges. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's like way too many to count. Right. Um, but, but I have one. Okay, you go first. And I'll, I'll go, go first. First, if, if I have to pick one, I'll say diet. Oh, oh my gosh, everybody! I feel you, uh, literally. Oh my. Oh, this we don't. Uh, this is like the biggest issue. Like. 
diet, I losing think, weight. Yeah. Either is that for you? You it's for agree, me, right? One hundred percent. One hundred percent. You know what I'm talking about. I one hundred percent know what you're talking about. Yeah. Because for me, uh, are like, you on a diet <laughs> right now? Because you're yes, preparing always. for your yeah, next all. comeback, right? Yeah. Most of the time, uh, at least with the year that I've been in Idol, I will diet before like you know, shooting music um, videos. Yeah. And basically that whole <laughs> time before oh, before so the stressful. comeback, during the comeback, and whenever our schedules for that promotion are done, which is like basically <sighs> half of the year that I'm just dieting. So when you have a comeback, like when you, oh, you're waiting for a comeback, then you need, need to diet. And when, yeah. you're, when your comeback, your haltung is done, mm. then you need to diet for your next comeback. So it's a never ending Saga, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's uh it's hard to figure out the kind of balance because everybody right. is has a different body, mm -hmm. and so you kind of need to figure out which foods work for you. But like also, I've learned like you don't have to say no to like some foods that you like. Like for me, I love sweet things and I love fried chicken. Literally, is and it okay <laughs> that I gave you chocolates today? Yes, because <laughs> you're. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Okay. Because as long as long as I keep up my workout routine, like for me working out like a lot and I can work out a lot and still like maintain and lose weight like pretty quickly. Wow. And so that's what helps me. Like so I don't have to like oh I can't eat like uh -huh. for a certain amount of times. Oh, like some no. days I'll like fast. <gasps> If I need to do before, it a little quicker, maybe like one or two days before mm. your music video. Shoot. Yeah, like I'll especially if I'm like recording a, like a nogum or like we're like recording a nogum, <laughs> <laughs> recording, recording. You're becoming more and more <laughs> Korean. Yeah, <laughs> and so either when I'm recording a song or we have like schedules that need I need to be a little slimmer, I will oh. not eat that whole day or like the night before. Oh, I like I, I like you. to be I like to be on an empty stomach. Like I, I just don't like to. Eat. It's it's not a me bad too. thing. Me too. It's just it helps me. I feel better, uh -huh. especially and, when you're working. Yeah, because mm -hmm. like some foods, I it'll not upset my body, but you know I could get bloated. Right. Like especially with like I eat a lot of like eggs nowadays. Mm. Eggs and takasamsa. Oh is what no! I eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a little boring sometimes, uh -huh. but that's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> and it helps, but the night before, I will not eat eggs because eggs blow. It makes me mm. bloated. And I don't like that f I don't like that feeling. And so, yeah, I Especially like Especially because when you are when you are working as a team, mm -hmm. you always I don't know. We used to wear really tight outfits. Yeah, that's no, why you don't want to feel bloated yeah, or anything. Cuz then it, it's get it har it's harder to breathe because yeah. then it's like uh, <laughs> there's like no space <laughs> yeah especially if you need as for me there's some notes that i have to hit especially at the end of karma oh, no i need i need a <laughs> breath <laughs> give me some yeah. space <laughs> so i need space so mm, usually like yeah. the stylist will like you know you have they have your measurements mm -hmm. and so they'll do that but there's just some outfits that you know yeah. it's just tight being stuffy, having a stuffy uh, tummy, <laughs> yeah, is the last thing you want. Yeah, oh, yeah. No. So I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't like to eat, and especially for vocals, I don't. You know, sometimes it gets phlegmy with some foods that you eat. Mm -hmm. So most of the time, if I'm gonna eat or drink something, it's either gonna be water or lemon, honey, ginger tea. Oh. That's all I'll eat. Oh, you know, there's so many kinds of diets. Mm -hmm. I remember, I remember when we were working. Uh, we would drink fresh green juices for three days. We did like green a juice. three days green juice detox before a really? music video. Oh my gosh. And we would have these juices on the refrigerator mm. at the at the music video set. Okay. The, these <laughs> green juices, what are they like? Um, like, you know, you know kale, ah, apple, kale. and these okay, okay. spinach. Was it good? Uh, I mean, 
Yeah, it was okay. Not, yeah, not my favorite okay. kind of food because I love junk food. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I'm not yeah. the only one. Ooh, Me. Like yes, I love and that. fries. My guilty pleasure is French fries. Fries. Yes. Ooh. Do you have? Do you like the basically like the basic French fry or do you like the curly fries? The basic fries? one, but okay. I like the crispy Ooh, fries. For me, mm. I like the um, a little like crispy on the end, mm -hmm. but I like oh. the kind of yeah. not soggy, but like the soft middle. Mm. That's what I like. Ah. Oh, oh, our listeners oh. are hungry now. Oh, now I'm hungry too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> oh well. We have another question. What was it like being the newest or latest member added to your respective groups? It was, like I said, it's a surreal experience and mm -hmm. it still doesn't feel real even though I've been an idol for about a year now. Mm -hmm. But being added as a Black Spawn member, it was like hard and fun at the same time because it's like for me, they had, uh, they were, you know, practicing more than me until I came in. So it yeah. was, I had a shorter period. Like right. everybody's training days are different and they have their heart. Everybody has their different hardships in their training days. But for me, it, it felt, it's like a game of catch up, oh. which is hard and but it's, it's a, it's a heartwarming mm -hmm. experience when you can see slight improvements. It's obviously not going to be quick. And yeah. I'm still I'm still improving. To me, even though like I've debuted, I still am basic I'm still training. I'm mm. I'm not I'm not there yet. I agree with you 100%. I mean, I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when I first joined Wonder Girls, they already had had so many mega hit songs and they were preparing for their music uh, their uh, US tour. Mm. And so during that short period of time, I had to memorize all of the song lyrics, choreography, not just that, but the um, tongs on like mm. the movement right, right, and right, everything. Right. But I have a goldfish memory, so I'm surprised how I memorized all of that. And you said you like dancing mm. more. So was dancing kind of the somewhat easier part it of it? It was never easier. Never? <laughs> I can understand. I feel you. Yeah, so I didn't have time to think about, oh, I'm the new member of blah, blah, blah. I didn't have time to think about all of those things. I was mm. just so busy catching up. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It, it is what it is, but I mean... Mm -hmm. But all good memories. Yeah. yeah. All right, the next question is from Swan's Galaxy. From yeah. your perspective, what's the hardest part of being an idol? Diet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I'd say mm. for me. For you. Maybe the the schedules. Oh. Especially during promotion period or when we're filming a, a music video. So sometimes we'll shoot from like early mornings, like five, yeah. maybe four a.m. to like nights, depending depending on the the shoot and what we're shooting. Mm -hmm. There's that and then you have like the promotion period which is like early early mornings to like the end of the day so yeah. For me this the schedules this is non-stop non -stop schedule, schedule especially the uh, hebyeok schedule mm, it's yes. tough. Ooh, all right well it's time for another song break okay. so here's a few more of Envy's picks for the day. It's Helium by Key and All I Got by Pekhyun. Yes. <laughs> We just heard two songs, Helium by Key and All I Got by Baekhyun. So you've brought in some amazing songs. Thank you. Mm. Can you tell us why you chose these songs? Um, these are all songs that I first listened to, like going into K-pop and new songs like Ki Sanbeenim's Helium is a new song that I have recently heard because I went to his concert and oh, he's such a good performer and his mu music is amazing so that's why I added his and then all these other songs are kind of for me I, when I pick playlists I like to do somewhat of a similar kind of sound and theme so it's like a very kind of retro R&B type feel. Yeah I could definitely feel the, the theme Me? there's a theme Thank there. You. Hmm. Yeah, but and the Pekyun song mm. I think you would make a great cover of it. Oh, 
Thank you. The I would need a lot. vibe. Thanks. I think you would do an amazing job. Thank you. Mm. I would need to, I've been practicing that song. Oh. But there's, there's still more things that I need to like kind of tweak in it. So hopefully, hopefully soon I can do a cover. I would mm. love to. It's a great song. We'll look forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And what about the two other songs? By Demian and Jay Yuna. Um, Jay Yuna is one of my favorite, like, male K artists in oh. Korea. I love his vocal tone and his just his writing and his, the way he makes his songs. It's just very unique and. I just love it. Aww. It's just something that there's not really a specific reason on why. It's just that, oh my gosh, this sound is, I want to listen more to it. I really, really like it. And so I, he was one of my first, I think, um, oh no, day six. Other than day six, <laughs> I'm in human, all the other ones. Um, solo, like mm. solo K artist. He's just really amazing. And the song that you played today, is your favorite Damien song? Yeah, it was my mm. first and favorite because I, I would listen to that on like a summer summer night when I'm on a drive with the mm. windows down. Oh, nice. And Damien cassette, mm. that was a beautiful song. It was my first time listening to it, but thank you so much for bringing in such wonderful songs. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow, it's hard to believe, but it's already time to say goodbye. Ooh. We have so many comments and I'm sad we didn't get to go through all of them, mm -hmm. but we still have next week. Mm -hmm. So uh, don't be too disappointed that your comment not, was not read because yeah. it's coming soon next mm -hmm. week. Yes. We have time. We're not going to miss out. Mm -hmm. All right. How was your first day on the show? <sighs> I love the, <laughs> the, the, like the new game, like mm -hmm. the feeling of everything. It's just very relaxed, oh. chill. Like, I don't have to worry about everything. Like, yeah. you're, like, one of the comments said, it's just like a Friendly conversation, conversation between friends, yeah. you know? I like, I like having me. So, thank you for having me. And I can't mm. wait to come back. Oh, and thank, I want to thank you because I've always wanted to, uh, to have the opportunity to talk to my idol, Hubei, because mm. I've been there, I've gone through it, and I know it can be really hard at times. Sometimes you need, you want, uh, to share mm. your feelings, you need somebody to yeah. be there for you. And I want to be that somebody for my hubes. And I'm glad that you're my first hubes oh, on the show. Oh, so So many. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I was always the mangne of the team. So oh, it, really? feels, uh, it feels uh, f interesting mm. and weird that I'm now like a mm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for the fun chat. And I... I uh, hope you'll have a safe flight tomorrow Yes. because you're going to India, yes, Mumbai yeah. for your concert. Yes, we will. Yes. Get ready for <laughs> India Luminas. We're excited to see you. Yep. And I hope to see you next week. Mm -hmm. All right. Taking Envy out is another one of her K-pop picks. It's Moonchild by RM. Woo.